Hey y'all. Uh, the chances of me getting through an 11 minute song without screwing something up are zero. So, uh, I'm gonna try to get through it and if I mess something up, I'm just gonna keep rolling. There's a, there's a few different sections of it, they repeat. You'll get the bits of it.
the main chords and stuff. This is really an easy one. Yeah. Uh, if you're just doing this sort of basic guitar, but in fact, there's not a whole lot of overdubs. You know, this is the the sort of rough mix one that they put on the extended version of uh, the Into the Outdoor album. So it just starts with da 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 A. Now these are fifth chords. It's a full A, but uh, yeah, I'm doing it mostly as a fifth. If you get the B in there, don't worry, the B string in there, don't worry about it. It's up to C. Back to A. C, back to A, and D. And then F. Then go through that whole thing again. And I think the next thing that comes is the. <laughs> Open A string and D at 7. F, G, and then back to it. C to A, C to A, right? And then you go back to the F thing. And then another one of these. You gotta slide that, make sure you slide that one down. It's not just. It's And then it's, uh, I think you get back into the F, G, and then so take your D shape, move it up to here, that's a, that's a G, that's your, your Pete Townsend D chord. Uh, it's like you were, if you were borrowing a D chord, think of a D, right? He's done that. Uh, but instead of uh, the whole thing, you just want the top part of it. So since it's a D chord, just leave the D string open. And then you've got the highest note to that barred. I mean, nobody really bars that high E string on these bar chords. But if you could, you'd have it barred there, and then these three would be here. Some people actually do it like this. So you just take a uh, high E string at 5, G and B at 7. Just sort of pick them up. So that next shape is an A. If you were, if you were buying an A, you just want the top three of it up there. So. So this, move it down, same thing as the D except now it's down too. Then the second time through. It's one of the only, only Zeppelin tunes he did on the, in the studio, in the double neck, on the double neck. So uh, after this uh, arpeggiated part, he goes to the six string neck. <laughs> so that's open A string and then D string at four. Which is just a C, it's a C major seven I guess. A C chord with an open B string. Same thing, down to an A. That 
it's just uh, this is like if you were borrowing a C chord, just the B and E from that C chord up to do to D and back. And sometimes it's just sometimes he does the same thing in A, slide it up to B and then back. does another one a whole bunch of those and then it goes into the second half though da -da 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 -da. G. repeats that second half of the song, repeats that again, and then you're out on this. So if you learn that one section at a time, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an easy one, really. The hardest thing about it is memorizing it all the way through and not, not missing one of those little, okay, does it come in here after four of these or only after three of these, you know, whatever it is. So the, the arrangement is the complicated part, but actually playing it is uh, it's not that bad. Good luck. <laughs>